convinced that either John or Patsy penned the note, investigators examine writing samples the couple submitted at the beginning of the investigation. Forensic handwriting expert Sina Wong has also studied the Ramsey's writing samples. The benefit of analyzing a longer note is that you have more handwriting to work with. When I looked at the first page, I noticed that the writing was slow, a little awkward, but as I progressed to the second page and the third page, I saw that the writing was more fluid, written more naturally. It tells me that what we're dealing with was a disguised writing. It's difficult to try and hide your natural habits of your handwriting. You can change it for a little bit, for a sentence or a paragraph, but once you go beyond that, your natural handwriting characteristics will come out. After my examination of John Ramsey's handwriting, I was able to rule him out as a ransom note writer. But when she compares Patsy's writing to the ransom note, the similarities are striking. When I look at a suspect's handwriting, I look at the characteristics that are unique to that writer. These are the five very unique variations of the letter E that the ransom note writer and Patsy Ramsey share. Here, Patsy's C is very distinct because it is compressed, it's pointed on the left side, and you see that it's also similar in the C on the ransom note. That's a Q that looks like a number eight. How many people write their Qs with the number eight? I don't, do you? In this case, I found over 200 similarities between Patsy Ramsey's handwriting and the ransom note. So it's highly probable that Patsy Ramsey wrote the ransom note.